So today I'm going to talk about symmetry uh, versus mirror in Blender and when you would need to use one versus the other. Uh, because I use Maya mostly and Maya is pretty simple. It's just a one click uh, situation at the top. But with Blender, they need to work in tandem if you want a symmetrical model. So I'm going to just add a cube here. Mesh cube. Add mesh cube. Okay. So here we are. Um, say I want to do some loop cuts on this cube and I want them to be symmetrical mirrored on both sides. How do I get that? Well, if I select and I'm in edit mode, I select loop cut here and I just enter into my subject. And the reason this isn't working is because loop cut was not selected. Okay, so now if I drag, I press uh, left click on my mouse and drag, hold down drag, you will be able to move your loop cut. And it's obviously not symmetrical. So I'm just gonna undo that. And my initial instinct was to push X on the top. Now I want the symmetry in the X axis. That's why I pushed X up here with the little butterfly image. That's your symmetry option. So in Maya, that'd basically be all I need to do to get my loop cut in there. So I have to do a center cut for symmetry, which is fine, I just added that. And now if I try to do my loop cut on this end, it's still not reflecting on the other, other side. So that was confusing to me. And the reason for that is because to do any sort of uh, edits to your geometry that are outside of transformations, you need to use the mirror tool. So transformations are just grabbing, moving, um, translating, those are all the same thing, uh, scaling and rotating. But things like changing the geometry itself that you'll need to add the mirror modifier. So if you see this little wrench symbol, that's your modifier list, you uh, select the drop down and go to mirror. Here we go. So I already have it selected. I've got axis X selected. That's the one I want. I also just wanna note you want bisect selected in this scenario too. I don't need two of these objects. So if I didn't have bisect selected in the same axis, it would create two squares, two cubes, and that would be very confusing and my geometry would get all sorts of messed up. So you definitely want that. And if it's not being mirrored, you may want to select flip, but mine is working out well. So if I selected flip, it wouldn't work. So if yours isn't showing up, select flip in the same axis you're working in. So that's how I've got my loop cuts um, being mirrored or, or having symmetry with loop cuts. Um, but now say I, I like this, I've done all the work I need in terms of cutting and changing the geometry. I need to apply my changes. So now you need to go back into object mode by selecting tab on your keyboard or just going up top, switching it back. And I need to apply this modifier. So I apply and then I can make any other, um, transformation changes. So say now I want to, uh, translate the faces on either end and I want it to be reflected on both sides. I want to move them out. I would have to go back to edit or select tab and I'm going to go to grab my uh, select tool and uh, I want a face so I'm going to go up and select faces and you have to make sure now symmetry selected. That's important because if I'm translating I need the symmetry to work. So also scaling. So let's just scale down and watch it be reflected on both sides. So that's it. It's pretty confusing for someone who's used to working in Maya, but you'll get used to it. And um, just remember, if you're working on one object and you don't want to, you have to select bisect in that mirror option. Um, that was tricky for me. So that's it. Join me in my next video as I try to conquer Blender as a Maya user.